Hey guys, today I'm going to review for you an application that you used to have to actually install an entire operating system, an entire custom ROM on your device to be able to use. And now it's made available on a standalone basis as far as available on the Google Play Store for download as well as the XDA threads for support. Let's check it out. Will posted on the XDA portal recently an article referencing a camera app called Focal. Focal was put together by XDA elite recognized developer Explode Wild. Now, this was originally a part of the CyanogenMod 10.2 Nightlies. Uh, if you've used CyanogenMod before, especially the Nightlies, you probably have had exposure to this. If not, uh, you probably haven't heard of it. It's a great application that is that runs alongside your existing camera app. So it's not a replacement in the sense of removing the old one. It's an additional one to your system. And uh, it has one of the main features essentially is the Photosphere function that you get from having the Nexus types of devices. Or uh, if you've ever had this situation where you've had to download and install the, you know, the Google Nexus uh, camera app with the gallery just to be able to get the Photosphere function out of your phone, this is a great alternative to doing so. The developer provides us a few screenshots of what the application looks like and also a small description um, and the thread gives us the information that this is initially intended for phones but it will work on tablets. Um, I can confirm that it does work on my uh, Nexus 7 uh, as far as just using it. The feature set obviously is different than what I have on my phone and that's what the, what the developer is informing us. Each device has different feature sets so keep in mind not every phone will, or every device will have the same settings. Uh, last but not least is the link to the Google Play Store. You'll be able to download it and it'll update itself directly out of the Google Play Store. It is no longer associated with a specific ROM, so it's an application that gets updated directly from the developer, and that's what makes it special. Let's check it out on the device. Okay, so first thing we want to do is download and install the application. Look for Focal Beta by Team Barbecue. That's how it's listed on the Google Play Store. Install it and run it. I have it already installed. I created a shortcut again on my home screen. Okay, we'll go ahead and launch the application. Click the application itself. Launches. Very clean interface. The settings on the, on the left side, they show up and disappear by themselves. You have a ring here and then you're able to switch between front-facing camera back as well as the PicSphere or their version of Photosphere, the video, panorama, which is pretty much default now, Photosphere, and then back into the normal sphere mode. Uh, your focusing ring is automatically set to center. You can change the focusing ring to wherever you want. If you want to just do the tap to, uh, to take a picture, double tap on the screen and your shutter uh, ignition button goes away from the bottom and then you're able to take basically pictures by just selecting it and it takes it and saves it right away. You're always, of course, able to set the different exposures, the flash, the white balancing, the scene mode. Uh, the, it does have HDR by default, it's turned off. You have burst mode and you can set that to be 5, 10, 15 or unlimited exposure compensation um, and all of these settings are available to be pinned to the bottom part of your screen so if I like the exposure and I want to basically put that down um, you just have to click the tick over here close your close your settings and then it sits there on the bottom left side uh, double tapping the screen will bring the ring back and your options to be able to use the ring and this is where it's sitting here if you want to get rid of it you just take it off that way unfortunately when you do that it doesn't take it away from the screen you have to kind of go back in um, but the overall the the system itself and the interface is very very simple I can touch the focus to the mug and snap a picture that's pretty quick uh, swiping from the screen top to the bottom you get your uh, preview which is what you're normally used to seeing and in, in, uh, on your regular camera app it takes you straight into the gallery this isn't the gallery this is just a quick preview of what the gallery shows you're able to swipe between pictures these are pictures I've taken before as you can see Andy's posing. Here's a few sample pictures I've taken with the uh, focal application and as you can see Andy is definitely posing for us. Why? No. Um, and then if you don't like a picture you just swipe it down. It goes away, it deletes it out of it and then it just goes to the next picture. Uh, if I want to go into somewhat of a picture editing I click the editor. Uh, and actually I forgot about that. I don't have that one installed here. Uh, but if I want to I can go into the gallery itself and then you can just go straight you know swipe to the same things you normally able to um, on your gallery depending on your device I'm using obviously the, the Galaxy S3 um, and then you know this just takes me back and then one more back takes me back into the camera itself overall very nice very fluid works obviously in landscape mode same thing uh, I just I like the interface it's very clean very very reminiscent of the stock Nexus experience nothing's wrong with the default ones that come with the devices or the phones that are coming out these, uh, these days but overall I find that just the cleaning the clean process of it again double tap yeah, and then you get rid of the ring and then at this point your entire viewfinder becomes your screen uh, double tap again bring it in 
and uh, you have the option of actually using uh, speech on different different devices have the option to give you it would be able to, to uh, either have it uh, you know set as a delay uh, but as a timer mode you have the ability of using speech you have the ability of increasing the timer by default it's five uh, again you can unpin that do all the different things and then just wipe it away i've had some force closes on this it does not work perfectly all the time uh, I think it's, it's still in the beta, and as the developer said, is if you have any problems, the developer does mention submit logs and make sure that you have uh, the information that you have uh, in the problem and post that on the thread so that he has information of what needs to be done and how it's supposed to be fixed. The application runs and works very nicely on the device. Overall, the main benefits of it, of course, is the ability to have a clean interface, touch to, to capture uh, image. Um, overall, the, the settings and the function I find are very simple, easy to navigate, and easy to figure out. Uh, the drop-down option from the top to be able to figure out where your uh, your preview screen that's a little bit of different than most devices most of them have a little bit of a screenshot at the bottom right you know regardless of which ROM you're running uh, but I think it's very nice overall if you've had experience with it on uh, the Cyanogen Mod 10.2 night lease then you're probably already aware of all of this if you haven't used it before uh, this is a great application to have it works alongside your app or your camera so it doesn't replace it if you have any problems with it you can always switch back uh, it's being supported and definitely being updated. I think I saw an update come in a couple of days ago. So the developers now really focusing on making this a better application. If you have any problems or any concerns, submit your logs, submit your crash reports through the Google Play Store. This is basically the only way for him to know exactly what's going on, what's wrong. You can also, of course, check out the thread. I'll provide links for you in the description below. Uh, hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's a great camera from the standpoint of what it does uh, and what the features are. Photosphere is now available to you without having to do any kind of custom hacking into your device. You just download this app and voila, you have this application and it works for you. Like and subscribe to this channel and as usual, please uh, check out my channel and like and subscribe to mine. Uh, leave some comments, you know, let me know what you think. And if you have any recommendations or comments as far as other applications you'd like me to review, uh, please feel free to put those in the comments as well. I will see you guys next week.